everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. I have a super fun card for you today and it's so easy. It was one of those um, bundles that I haven't even taken out of the stuff except for the day that I showed it in my unboxing. So it's been a hot minute since I've had it and I wanted to use it. It's cheerful and fresh and makes me feel like summer or Italy or um, it's actually sunny here today, but it's it takes you kind of out of the winter doldrums if that's where you are couple things before I get going. I've had a few, there's still a few people who have contacted me via my website or Pinterest or Instagram and asked for a catalog. And I have responded back to you, but I need your address, your mailing address. So if you asked and you haven't gotten a catalog yet, then go check and see, or you can just go, you can go to my um, blog and just email me from there. I have a few of these and then some more coming, so I'll get them in the mail to you as soon as you let me know where to send them to. But I think otherwise, everybody should have them. And we have some great things this month. I'm not using anything out of the Celebration Catalog today, but I will. I have been, um, the reason I used what I'm using today is a, we're probably about three quarters of the way through cutting the paper for my upcoming triad class. It's huge, and we move all of that stuff downstairs. So all of the paper, all of everything that gets cut or die cut or embossed or punched, it's all downstairs. So what I'm using today is a new bundle that is not in the triad class and just regular paper and old ribbon. And I do have um, a new embellishment on there, but we will get to the celebration. And it, I, it's my goal to use everything in it at some point in a tutorial. Today is the 10th, so if you're watching this the day it posts, it's the last day that you can sign up to be in my card club for January. So my card club subscription, I, the card is downstairs because it's also being cut for um, this month. I have, I think, one, maybe two of the card organizers left and anybody who joins new this month you can go back and watch the by the bay and that explains it all i think this video it's my alternate it also has some of the information about card club but you have to subscribe by the 10th and if you're in club make sure you add anything that you want to add by this evening then i was going to show you these these are um for the most part well you can you can get these two stamps so what we do in club each month is we focus on a stamp set, but they can substitute anything they have. And then you get paper, ribbon, and an embellishment, and then the supplies to make six cards. Sometimes you can save the supplies because then every three months, I take everything they've gotten the last three months and mix it all up. So this is the mashup and we do it via Zoom. Everybody who attends the Zoom, their name goes into a drawing and I end up with six of these and then they'll get them when they're, um, Thing goes out the six winners so this one you can see i took fitting florets and mixed it with this was ribbon that we had embellishments that were in their package the embellishments that we had and then that was the ringed of ringed with nature i think celebration paper this is ringed with nature stamp set a mistletoe a little embellishment and then the poinsettia paper because if you know if you think back three months ago we were making christmas stuff so I had to come up with ways to use it. Here's mistletoe magic with fitting florets paper. So it's just kind of a fun way to sh to help you be creative with what you already have because obviously if you're in club, after a few months you have those things too. Today I'm going to use the sweet citrus, which is a hybrid set, and I should have looked at where it is in here. Let's see if I can find it fast. Oh, I did. I don't even have to edit that part out. Sometimes if I can't find it, I go back and edit it. I hadn't looked at this. I always make my cards first before I look in the catalog because I don't want to copy um, and I don't want to be influenced. Like I flipped through the catalog, but if you're like me, you're like, this time I'm only going to look at samples or I'm only going to look at the stamp sets. And about halfway through, you realize you've squirreled and you're doing something completely different than what um, you intended to. So I'm going to use the Sweet Citrus. Super cute. The sayings, enjoy the sweeter things in life. Have a zesty birthday. Um, thanks a bunch. And then I'm using sending you a big squeeze. Aren't those cute sayings? I love those sayings. It's a hybrid set. So the dies are going to work with the folder and the folder's fabulous. This card goes together so quickly and it's adorable. So you will be able to just impress all kinds of people with your mad stamping skills. It's the stamps and I pulled this out and then I realized, I thought, oh, I didn't know I had mango paper up here because I got mango ink because we're using mango paper in the um, Triad class with the 
rain set, the little rain characters. And I thought, oh, I took that all down. And I did. This is crushed curry. So I thought about switching it to the correct color. It doesn't matter. It looks really good because um, I didn't even realize it till my card was put together. The way this works, you can do it either way. I'm going to start with the skins. So this is all the the lemons that could be zest. And I'm going to use Mango Melody. You could use Crushed Curry. I like mango. It's a nice bright color and it kind of helps the whole design pop. I also thought after I made this card, I should have done it on the Stamparatus because yellows can often benefit by stamping twice. But I didn't, and they were already on here, and this was already dirty, and I have a lot I want to get done today, so we're just going to go. But if you have the Stamparatus and you're making this card, I would suggest you do that because you'll just get at least two, and you could even do three coats of the yellow. Or you could make them be oranges, or they can be limes. They don't have to be lemons. That's the great, well, this can't really be an orange, but it could be a... There we have our mango that does not match our paper. But see, it kind of looks like bright with the crushed curry. The crushed curry might be a little bit too curryish. Makes me want some butter chicken for our lemons. The inside of the lemon I'm going to use in so saffron just because I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. And again, it plays really nicely off of that mango because this is a more of a lemon. We don't really have like a lemon lemon color right now. If you still have your barely banana pad, <laughs> you can use that. But this, this color works fine. And of course, I'm going to add a little bit of Stella to it. And you can see these just line up and go right in the centers. They're not perfect, which makes it super easy. You don't have to stress because the hole is big. I should have had a little stamp pad under here. I felt that because these are kind of big. Isn't that cute? Super cute. And then it comes with two dies to do your leaves. So I'm going to go Old Olive. And I always like when there's two because I was just going to stamp one image of leaves because sometimes, you know, die cutting is not my, it's kind of like unloading the dishwasher. It's not always my favorite thing. And it's because I'm right in the middle of doing cutting for club and try it. So when you have to cut literally thousands of pieces of die cuts, you're like, yeah, I'm done with this. But when they give you two, then you can run it through in one pass. So I'm going to show you. Sometimes I just, you know, die cut to the side. But I want you to see how these work. Of course, I have to get all of my stacks. I've been using that little, the little blue one that you get free if you join my team. That will be all in today's email, all of the information about that. So here are the dies. I'll stick these on here and I tried to get when I did it the first time even though I had two dies I couldn't do it because I stamped them too close together leaves leaves and then just like that stamp was one the dies are one so they will cut all out at once which also helps them not move because you know sometimes the more dies you get on your plate the more apt they are to move this is super easy. Lay it on here flat. Push down flat and then hold on. The nice thing, if you don't have this new machine yet, because the base right here is wider, you can see how crooked my plates were on there and it doesn't matter. They'll go through. The old one, you had to pretty much be straight. Now we have our dies. Look how, isn't that just bright and cheery? I told you it looks like I didn't stamp this, but I did. <laughs> Now I'm going to take a piece of Sahara sand. I would have used crumb cake, but all downstairs. And it, as it turns out, I liked the Sahara sand, maybe more than the crumb cake, because the crumb cake has a little bit of like feel to it. This doesn't, it's just a flat color, a nice sand color. So I'm gonna put it here and I'm putting it this way because this piece is cut four and seven eighths by five. So it's a little bit smaller and I wanna make sure those things get to the edge. Let's roll this through a really great die. Look how fun, fun this is. Look how well it die, I mean, it embosses. Isn't that pretty? Then for the second bit, you can do this or not do it. It's up to you. You just lay these in here. Now it's kind of staticky in my house and I'm stamping on shimmer white. I don't know if I said that. 
So I'm going to use Estella on the rest of the stuff. This is just going to be um, shimmer because of the paper. There we go. Cool. There we have these that have the fun texture added to them. Isn't that neat? And so easy to do. And you could do more of these. You can put it all in at once and cut the die at the same time. It's just up to you how you want to use it. Lots of demonstrators do it different ways. I tend to never put my folder through with my die because I don't want to do it at a class and then have somebody accidentally cut my thing. And it's just one more pass through. I'm going to take a little scrap. Well, it's not really scrap. It's a big piece of scrap of the shimmer white. It's where I got the off cuts. And have the one that says, sending you a big squeeze. Stamp it in black. And then I'm just going to hand trim it out with my snips. You can see where I did this one up here. You guys keep pieces of neutral colors of paper on your table and just use them for things like this. Shimmer white is my favorite. I'm going to get this cut out and then we'll go around it. And I'm just going to kind of be like I had a die. And if don't be perfect because our dies are, you know, when you have a shape like a, um, what's it called? A balloon shape around your words. They're not perfect. They're just shapes. They don't, sometimes they get every letter. Sometimes your stuff just fits on there. sentiment. And I just have to put this together. So let's start with our Sahara sand and I'm going to take my Stella and I have like five of them. This looks like maybe not. <laughs> Some of them have more ink than others and I got the one that was working best which is not that one and then I laid it on the table. I don't know if it's this one either. Yes, that one's better. Right now, while the paper's wet, as it dries, I'll show you the other one. It's not, it's just mostly sparkle. So just a quick little blast of color. And then I'm going to add some to the leaves, mainly so that piece there in the middle isn't white. I want it to have a little bit of color. And you know when you use the Stella with the ink color already on the um, stamped, then it kind of picks up the color and smears it around. It's really pretty. That's all for that. Now we just need to mount these on here. I'm going to just use straight up seal. And then here's a little trick. You can see where this kind of moved when I put it on there. Because I'm doing a grouping of citrus, I'm just going to hide that part. So this part that is up here that looks really good, that's going to be the part we see. And that one there. And then all of the times I've done it, this one has gone through the machine the best. So I want to make sure it's kind of the focal along with the, the lemon. Although this one did pretty dang good this time. It was my worst one <laughs> on my other card. But you can cover up. If you have some place where it didn't come out great, just put that on the bottom. And then I'm going to take some dimensionals. Put my lemon on with those. And then add my leaves. And I'm going to put my adhesive just on the tip of the bottom and then that way I can kind of put them where I want. Now on this, that's squished over just a little bit from where my other one was. So the patterns on the back are in different spots. It, there's nothing there. So I'll stick one there. And then let's go, I'm gonna put it here. Then I just have some of our linen thread. This is in the, the four pack. So if you were in club, we had it maybe last month. Is that when we got the four pack? I feel like it because I don't think I used that on the mix up cards. So I have a generous length and I'm going to pull it so it's even. And 
there. Pull it so my bow ends up over here because I'm going to put my sentiment on the side that's closest to me. Tie a knot. And then I'm just going to tie a little bow here. And just pull it tight. And then the end that has the double, which is right here, just snip that apart. I'm going to make this one so it's a little closer to the same size. And take another dimensional and we will add this here. This came out of one of our kits. It's a little, a little miniature sheet of dimensionals, but the kit's done and they give you way too many dimensionals for most of our kits. Oh, there's a suit. I have a super cute kit coming tomorrow. The new one. If you haven't seen the new one, I will put it in today's email. If I remember, sometimes I say I'm going to put something in there and I go to write the email and I'm like, I don't have a clue what I said I was going to put in there. I'll try to remember the kit though. If I don't, then I will definitely show it to you. I don't know that I'll do a demo with it. It doesn't even need stamps. It's perfect for those people in your life that you're trying to convince that they can do this with you, but they say they're not crafty. Oops. Add our crushed curry. Isn't that pretty? And so I think the way the mango pops off the paper a little bit more because it's brighter than that. And then I have Old Olive, one of our standby great colors of all time. I feel like, you know, sometimes when there's a TV show and people say, if they get rid of this character, I'm done. I feel like people are like that with Old Olive, too. Oh, come on. And you could leave it, or we have a trillion and one. Well, maybe not that many, but we have a lot of embellishments that would work on this card. But wait till you see how cute these are. These are the Loose Daisy embellishments, and they are for our Playing in the Rain suite. And I can see that if you are not into like cartoon stamping, although they're adorable, it's a cute little stamp set, that you might not have even looked at this page, but these work perfect and they add just one more touch of little brightness. And I'm just gonna add five dots of glue. I can maybe do seven. I almost did more on the other one, but we'll do this. Sometimes I'm more is more is more and then I'm like, oops, that was too much. I'm going to grab them. You can see that there are white ones and there are like yellow ones. So I'm going to get a couple of the yellows and they're just little flowers with matching little leaves. So you could do the exact same color if you wanted. They're definitely brighter than what I'm using, but I kind of liked the way that the flowers, you know, if they were lemon flowers, I don't even know what color the flowers are on a lemon tree but they wouldn't be exactly the same as the lemons anyways, right? Another thing I'm gonna show you hopefully this week, I have a weird week and anytime I'm doing try it and cutting all that paper, the, it already starts out weird. But um, I wanna show you the new masks in the catalog because they're so much fun. But look, adorable, completely, completely adorable. I hope you can see the shine that the Stella does. And see, it, I know when I was painting it, it made the sand go a shade darker. When it dries, it doesn't do that. There you go. If you are interested in getting this, remember you during January and February, you'll get something free along with it. I think it's right at that $50 price point for the bundle. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll catch you back here later this week. Bye.